If you've ever had a conversation with somebody about rear facing and they were arguing against keeping them rear facing, the main argument you probably heard was when they're rear facing, their legs are too long and they might break. So I am here to debunk that myth. So what happens in a frontal collision? A frontal collision is what we're going to look at because it's the most common and the most dangerous type of collision. If you're driving and your vehicle comes into contact with another object and stops, you're going to jerk forward. Anything in the vehicle that is not tied down will go towards the front of the vehicle and the baby, so let's keep it in the same direction, the baby or the toddler that is rear facing, facing the back of the vehicle and my parents are behind me, is going to go towards the front of the vehicle as well. What happens with their legs is they are going to froggy up. So they're gonna come, the knees are gonna come towards their shoulders. So the legs aren't likely gonna crunch in any way or even do any damage to their inner organs because their legs are coming out. So the body stays safe, the knees stay safe, the neck especially stays, stays safe. And let's say it was actually true that in a rear facing, in a, when they're rear facing, their legs are at a higher risk of breaking. The legs are much easier to fix than the spine. So that's what you're gonna hear if you see, if you talk to a tech, you'll probably be told that the legs are easier to repair than the neck. But it's actually not true that the legs are more at risk when they're rear facing. So if they're front facing, let's keep it in the same direction. My parents are here. Everything goes towards the front of the vehicle. So the toddler's head, arms, and legs are gonna go towards the front of the vehicle. And if you have a toddler that is front facing, you've probably told them to stop kicking the seat a zillion times, so you know their legs can actually reach the seats ahead of them. It's actually proven that they're more likely to, their legs are more likely to break when they're front facing because their legs can hit the seat in front of them. So it is not true that if they're rear facing, their legs are more at risk of breaking during a collision. 